I'm running out of cool oh, places to do intros, so I guess we're gonna be behind this waterfall by the magical cube of mystery. Oh no, it looks angry. Calm, calm down, calm down, cube. Cube of death. Well, now that we are a comfortably safe social distance from the cube, let's get to a ton of tea. talking about the Jam Jam Jew again today. And guys, I'm gonna link all of the devs' Twitters in the description of this video that I talk about in Tea Spills. So make sure you guys follow them so you can keep up with all of their amazing projects. That is the number one way that you can actually support anyone and it's free. Follow them, retweet their tweets, share what they're working on. Or if you guys want, you know, you could be super special and just send words of encouragement because we know how hard all of the devs are working to get these updates out, guys. So show them some support. Now I was actually able to witness a little bit of Jam Jam's incredible stream here and, and we got some amazing looks at the school here. You guys, check this out. Look, more beautiful fountains. I know you guys love fountains. And you can just see how much detail goes into a build like this. It is massive. Everything is so beautiful down from the particle effects to the lighting. And as you can see, it's a huge area. So Jam Jam did confirm that this is going to be kind Kind of like a courtyard in the middle around the classroom so this is going to be a really beautiful place that you could go after your classes kind of relax and luckily those of you guys who were able to catch the stream when i was gone we got a great tweet from dj plays roblox and we can get a good look does that look like a beret what is this oh and they said bell cafeteria area oh beautiful more fountains and you can see the kitchen sign here beautiful extra long dining table and plants everywhere. I'm very pleased to see so many beautiful plants. Oh look, sitting at the table. This is gonna be so exciting. Oh, this kind of this kind of makes me feel like I need a fancy dining area now. Let's teleport. Ah, here we go, a fancy gazebo. Beautiful, this is great for the rest of the video. And we got another amazing teaser from Jam Jam just today saying, what's behind the bush? Okay, so can we get a little bit closer? Look, those are the new lockers. Now, I'd also like to know what's behind what's behind the bush and what's behind that and what's behind those doors. Maybe what's behind these railings over here. But you know what? We're gonna start with this. This looks like a pothos. I'm not even joking, you guys. But look at these beautiful lockers. Oh my gosh. So we don't have little crowns on top. We do have them in the design on the front. And I can't wait to see what these actually look like on the inside. What about you guys? I just thought I'd give you guys a look at the current lockers that we have before we get excited for the new ones. So it looks like the new ones are gonna be much more aesthetic. They definitely got a much needed facelift and I'm excited. amazing builder, modelers, and developers that is working on the new update is Hart, and apparently Hart jumped onto streaming today too. We got a great tweet here from Mackenzie, and it shows some of the beautiful things that they worked on. Look at this strawberry lotion. I wonder what these other flavors are gonna be. I'm guessing they're gonna be different flavors. <laughs> Sense, do not eat lotion. Oh my gosh, what is this? There's a chocolate fountain, and this is reminding me I need a Halloween outfit. Girl is not looking very Halloween-y. Um, leave some suggestions of outfits. Maybe tag me if you come up with some good ones you want me to wear, or just leave some comments, cause yeah, don't don't look at me. Don't look at me, okay? I'm just embarrassing. Ooh, wow, and we're getting another good look at that huge dining table. I see here, I see it's kind of blurry, but it says nachos, french fries, carrots and ranch, Caesar salad, and apparently here is a little clip from Heartstream working on the cafeteria and kitchen, and this was clipped by Sticks and Tricks. This is such an amazing clip because we're actually getting a really good view of everything. Whoa, whoa, the cooking area is huge. The kitchen is huge, so. I like that there's so many different kind of areas and places and activities it's looking like. A lot of different areas to do things, so that's exciting. So some other cool shots of the build here. We have a vending machine. Oh my gosh, look at all the snacks. And you can see a trophy case over here. And it does look like, I'm guessing this is a princess bathroom. So goodbye to the Castle Cafe and hello, the beautiful new area. I'm getting so excited for this, you guys. It's looking like they're spending a lot of time on this build. 
and it's definitely going to be quite a bit bigger than the Castle Cafe. Roblox Deku got a great shot of the desserts from the stream, and you get a nice close-up look at the chocolate fountain, strawberries, we see some cupcakes. I don't know if these are placeholders, I don't know if more are gonna be added, but it does show desserts right there, so that makes me think some more sweet treats are on the way. But what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. If that wasn't enough screenshots for you guys, let's look at a few more from Deku. So you can see you got a good look at some cute little details like a school bell. And I do like how it's all pastel. Uh, I really like how it's not just primary colors. And again, more plants. Plants! Oh, cute! What is this? This little study nook? Cute! Is this a bathroom? Wait! Is that a sink? Wait! All right, people. I'm not proud of myself right now. I did an oopsie doodle. That's right, okay? I really messed up. I have been saying this person's name wrong. Okay, I said Vianci in my last video. It is Vianci. So I'm so sorry I mispronounced your name. Bianchi not only did the amazing Royal Con 2020 and was Copiana Grande, but is also working on amazing stuff for Royal High. And I do have links for this amazing creator down below. Oh my gosh, that is so rude. What is in front of my face? According to Leah Ash's little boba, she does like boba. We all know that Bianchi has been working on parkour, but look at how magical. This is like parkour for forest elves. Look at how beautiful. This is absolutely astounding, just dreamy, magical, inspirational work. And the butterflies! I'm so excited! So it looks like there's a checkpoint here. Please, please give us a lot of checkpoints. Some of us are so bad. Ooh, and there's some quizzes. <gasps> oh my gosh, so this is like quiz core. So basically you have to go up the ladder for the answer. And here it says true or false. Go to the ladder with the correct answer. I can't see exactly what these are, but I'm getting so excited. And apparently, they were also working on the ice obby and a water mental obby. Oh my goodness. So that obby will, of course, be going to Battle Olive Royale Archery. So this is what the current lobby for Battle Olive Royale Archery looks like. Oh, and there's my badge. You can see our cute little arrows here, but I do agree. It looks like we could definitely have some fun waiting for games to start. I think a lot more people would play this game mode if there were some more activities to do, but what do you guys think? So this is what we currently have. I'm certainly looking forward to the after. Are you ready for some more tea? Um, obviously we're in the most extra and amazing room in the beach house. Also, I'm a scared of sharks. This room scares me. That's why I never go in this room. All right, we're gonna we're gonna conquer my fear. We're gonna go sit by the shark. Rude chair, fine. But in yesterday's tea spill, when we were interviewing Lancelot, he actually did say that the pirate set was officially coming out. So you guys, we're gonna be pirates soon, and I'm wondering what you guys think. Do you guys think that the pirate set is going to come out before any of the other stuff? Do you think that the school update is going to come out first? But for those of you that missed the clip, I wanna replay it because a lot of people were tweeting about it and didn't even know it was in the video. So let's take a look at the news. As you can see here in this tweet by Johnny Soleil, this is official pirate set T and his beautiful creation is officially coming to the game. And this is crazy because I stopped uploading for like two months and we were talking about this pirate set and now we actually are officially getting to hear the release date. So thank you Lancelot for that. He also spilled some more tea, so make sure you guys check that interview out. Ah! This scared me so bad, I didn't know I was only a shark. I did not know where this came from. Go away shark, oh my gosh. This room is not good to me. It is haunted and possessed. Now, spilling some tea on my own uploads, I do have a new DIY coming that I actually filmed a while ago and I didn't get up to editing, but you guys are gonna really enjoy it, so make sure you have notifications on. I also was checking out the RHIRL hashtag and it looks like there have been a lot of pretty cool creations. So I was thinking about doing a whole video reacting to them. Let me know if you guys are interested and make sure you have notifications on. My regular uploads are back. I am working my way back up to like five to seven uploads a week. Maybe more if there's like a lot of news, maybe we'll have days with double uploads, but working my way back up. So make sure you don't miss any uploads. I am also slowly catching up with all of your amazing creations. 
So thank you for tweeting me. If I've missed anything, send it to me again. And I'll see you in the next video, humans. Goodbye.